What's up everybody? Welcome to Little Sahara Sand Dunes. Aww. <laughs> We're back. It's been a minute since we've been here. Seriously guys, we used to shoot here all the time. Shell would have so many photo shoots and we'd come out here because it's a very unique, very cool place to do photos. Yes. I feel like we were coming out here like, I don't know, like a couple times a month at least to do bridals, engagements, all sorts of photo shoots. And then, I don't know, I guess the sand dunes people just didn't want them anymore. I don't even know what <laughs> happened. But it's been a while, but we're finally back tonight. We're so excited. I have an engagement shoot tonight that we're doing out here. We're out of breath walking up uh, this is exhausting. these hills. <laughs> Shell had the genius idea to wear flip-flops out here, and I think that was a great call. Wait, are you being sarcastic? No, the sand gets oh. everywhere. Like It really does. It's the tiniest like most fine little sand ever and it's so soft like literally you could sleep on this and be so comfortable it's, it's the so softest nice. sand <laughs> and it gets everywhere like we will go home and we will just have sand in every little crevice and you wouldn't even have rolled in the sand but you'll look like you have I know I was gonna wear my Converse or my Vans and Shell's like I'm wearing my Burks mm -hmm. and I was like well crap should I wear flip-flops because the truth is is I usually just kick my shoes off when I shoot out here I usually just take my shoes off and run around barefoot because it's a lot easier. <laughs> oh, and it's so nice. Just mm -hmm. watch out for buggers. All right, guys. I don't know if any of you know who Peter McKinnon is. What, what? If you don't, definitely check him out. He is like the envy of anyone who does photography, videography, or just like... YouTube in general. Manly <laughs> men in general. Does that remind you of anyone, Shell? You, babe. You're a manly <laughs> man. No, who? No, yeah. <laughs> Anyways guys, Peter McKinnon guys, he has partnered with a very cool luggage, backpack, all that kind of stuff company called Nomadic. And he's actually released some bags with them before, but he's releasing a new one. And we were lucky enough to get one of his pre-release packs. not a paid video where you're not sponsored by this or anything they sent it out just out of the kindness of their own hearts to give it a little trial run and I've enjoyed it and loved it that much I wanted to do a little review video on it you guys are always asking shell and I what kind of equipment we're using what kind of bags we like cameras etc we don't always go too in-depth with you on that but we do have actually a lot of opinions because we use a lot of different equipment we've had a lot of different bags so today we are going to show you Peter McKinnon's everyday camera bag I could wear this every day. <laughs> That's what it's for, guys. That's what it's for. This bag is for your everyday use. They make a lot of larger bags. Nomadic and Peter McKinnon have another bag that's a lot bigger than this. I have bags that are a lot bigger than this that I use for trips when I'm carrying tons of gear, but for the minimal like amount of gear I'm using every day, this thing is perfect. It looks good on your back. Like it's nice and sleek. You look kind of hardcore. Here, do another turn. I want to see it in the sunshine. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm right here in the shadows. Hey! That is Michelle, my beautiful <laughs> photographer, videographer today. That's me, guys. Hi. All right, let's dig into this bag a little bit more. I will say guys this bag is extremely comfortable these shoulder straps are nice and padded <laughs> Nice and squishy. It's honestly very comfortable. They've done some very cool things as far as keeping this bag comfortable and padded. Like the coolest features on this thing. Coolest features. First thing you'll notice, this thing is just beautifully designed. Super, super rugged, tough material. Two massive water bottle holders on either side. Woo! That's a rare feature, guys. You don't usually get them on both sides. You usually get one. And then sometimes you'll have like the side entry pocket for a lot of camera bags, which I've found, I never use it, guys. Now, I never need just my camera. I always need my camera plus my microphone, plus my tripod, plus something else. So I'm opening the whole bag anyways. So I kind of love having this double water bottles or water bottle and a tripod instead of that side entry. I love it. Me as a photographer, I do love the side entry. I'm just grabbing my camera out really quick 
on the go and it's easy because I just have like just my camera that I'm whipping out and putting back in. But when you're doing like video and all that stuff and you need like your steady cam, your microphone, all your different like straps and your little lights, everything else that I feel like he constantly uses, drone, all so sorts of stuff. Crap. So much crap. <laughs> the side entries, it just doesn't make a lot of sense when you have so much stuff that you're constantly having to pull out and put away every single time. And I will say that sometimes I wish I had two water bottle holders because I always put my water bottle in one and then I put my speaker. You guys know me, I can't go anywhere without my portable speaker. Every photo shoot, I have my speaker to play music. And I always put my speaker in my water bottle holder. And so, so sometimes I'm like, you know what? I wish I had the double water bottle holder because that would be nice because I have two things that I'm always trying to put in there. Fairly empty at the moment, guys, <laughs> since my equipment is over there. Check this out. Tons of pockets to put stuff. You can never have enough pockets and pouches, and that's what I love about this bag. They give you places to put everything. There's not just one big area. And this cube, check that out. Totally comes out. You can even have multiple of these. I have my drone in here. My camera goes there. Microphone, GoPro, here's drone battery. They also have cubes that are different sizes. You can kind of organize this however you want. It's pretty cool. And in addition to all this storage, you have more storage up here. All magnetic, guys. I love the magnets because you aren't unzipping anything, you aren't doing anything to keep that closed. It's the magnets, but such easy access. And this pocket, you can also access from the top. You don't have to open the whole back up to get in there. There we have access right from the top. Super easy to get everything you need as fast as possible. <laughs> Way to go, Pete. Way to go. All right, I lost my videographer. Shell's off doing her shoot. We'll go catch up with her in a minute, but there's a couple other features that I have to show you because they are too cool. One of which I did not even recognize at first. Shell saw it and she pointed it out and I was super excited about it. And that's right here on the back. There is a slot. Shh. A lot of you might be thinking, what the heck is that for? Let me show you, it's amazing. If you're like anyone else in the world and you travel with a suitcase like we do and a backpack, this will come in so handy. It just slides right on there, nice and easy. It stays on, it's not gonna fall off. Let me tell you, I have done so many different experimental things, wrapping my shoulder straps around the suitcase handle and they don't always work, guys. My bags fall off, it's embarrassing when I'm walking through the airport, my bag slides over, falls around and slides to the ground. With this, that will never happen. Excellent, excellent feature. I'm really excited about this because as you know, Shell and I travel a lot. We have long travel days. You don't always wanna to have to have your backpack on your back. It's so nice to just set it on your bag, let that do the work for you, all the heavy lifting, and not worry about it falling off. Honestly, it sounds maybe simple, but I don't take that for granted. One time when we flew to the Philippines, we went from Salt Lake to LAX, LAX to Shanghai, Shanghai to Manila, then Manila to El Nido. It was four legs, 40 something hour trip. Tell you what, that would've come and very, very handy. And then the last feature that is an absolute must have, it has a dedicated laptop sleeve right here, it has its own zipper, own everything, it's right on the side. And I really like that, how that's completely separate and all by itself. And that, my friends, is a quick preview of Peter McKinnon's new everyday camera bag. Hope you think it's cool, definitely check it out. It is being released on Kickstarter first. You can go there, check the link in the description. If you think it's a cool bag, make a pledge and you can get one yourself. I'm gonna venture off back out into the dunes, find Shell and our wonderful couple and see what they're up to.
All right, guys, that is a wrap. I barely found Shell. I, I actually had to use my drone to find out where they were because they had wandered deep. off <laughs> deep to get away from people, etc. I always try to get like away from people, but I also try to go to the spots that are like not all tracked out with like. Oh, yeah, get the fresh. Yeah, the fresh sand with the Untouched ripple. Untouched sand oh. the best. It always like my heart rate's like going crazy right now because we're just hiking these things. <laughs> I know. I'm always out of breath, I, I know. feel like, in these clips. Let me hydrate. Guys, I'll tell you what, I couldn't have done this today without Peter McKinnon's everyday camera bag. 100%. It was awesome. Seriously, so awesome. Everything's so accessible. I honestly really love it. Tonight was amazing. So much fun being back out at the sand dunes. It was a little crowded, but you know what? That's okay. We honestly had so much fun. We had a gorgeous sunset. The couple was darling. Like, oh my gosh, they were like so just cute and like country vibes. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> they were so playful. I had them like wrestling in the sand. They were champs because I had them hiking and like yeah, wrestling. Yeah, you keep and, them busy. Yeah, I keep them busy and I, it's like a workout <laughs> if you do a photo shoot with me. Tonight was so much fun. Thank you guys for watching. Watching. As always, we love you all so much. If you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe down below. Huge thanks to Pete McKinnon for the awesome bag. He's pretty stoked on it. I'm stoked on it, even though it's not my bag. <laughs> Sorry, babe. <laughs> thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.